Hi everyone, this is Michelle, Learning to Be Thin. I am coming at you 32 weeks post-op. I actually figured out the weeks this time. So that makes me roughly seven and a half months, I believe. So let me see. Fe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven weeks post-op. I'm sorry, seven months post-op, 32 weeks, around there. What's been going on here? Um, getting into the routine. I just had a fill the other day. This will be my fourth fill. And I now have 7.4 cc's in my Relight C-Band. And now that I'm at my 7.4 cc's, I'm just now starting to have those band issues. Uh, today was my first PB. Seven months into this. My very first one. And let me tell you, it was not pleasant. It hurt so bad. In fact, I was freaked out. I watched these videos. I knew what to expect as far as how it's going to hurt. I went to go run and grab my... I mean, this is me after. I look tired. <laughs> I just... I was like crying. It hurt so bad. I was running to go get my camera to videotape it, but it would look like I was having a heart attack. Um, what did I get stuck on? Bread. It is 10.30 in the morning. And apparently my band is tight in the morning. So this is where the discipline is coming in. You know, I can put it in my mouth and I can chew it all I want and I can maybe get one swallow down and then I go for that second swallow and it gets stuck. That's so not cool. And that's abusing yourself is what it is. It's just abuse. There's no reason to even go for that. I'm really talking to myself, guys, more than I'm talking to you right now because that's exactly what I did. I took one bite and I was like, oh, I can kind of feel it going down and then I took the second bite and within seconds my heart was tightening up my, my chest was tightening up it was hurting it was taking my breath away I literally couldn't breathe I felt like I was suffocating for a second there I walked to the bathroom and I'm just like praying please throw up please throw up please throw up and then I did a little bit I don't even know if I would even call it throw up but that's the productive burp part and um, now I feel better. I have a little residual pain right now in my chest. It does still hurt and I still kind of feel a little gassy. So I'm just sipping my water a little bit and I'm trying to soothe it with ice water. But I'm going to take a rest for today. That was my first really bad stuck episode. And I'm, I'm going to take a rest for the rest of the day and just try to stay on liquids and protein. And that's it. I just, I, yeah, it hurt. Wow, seven months though, got to be proud of that. Um, so, what's been going on besides that? Um, seven months into this, I am definitely learning that you can cheat on this. Yes, you can. I now weigh 188 pounds. I've lost 48 pounds total in 32 weeks, which I'm extremely proud of. Um, I'm also realizing that I have an issue with losing this weight and what I mean by that is um, I can be sitting on a sofa curled up in a ball with my knees up to my chest because I can do that now which is awesome or with my legs crossed and I still feel like I weigh almost 240 pounds I put on an outfit and I look at myself and I go "Ooh, look at that fat roll right there look at those hips my butt is so big I'm still highly critical of myself and there's sometimes when I'm literally sitting in my car doing something normal that I would always do and I feel the same size as I did before. I get the compliments all the time. I have people tell me, well, you're just, you know, whittling away. You're shrinking down. You're, you look so tiny. And I go, thanks. Because it's hard for me to take the compliment. It really is. Um, I guess this is when the head work starts when I start to try to diagnose why I feel fat, why I think I need to be fat, why I've always, why I've been fat for 20 years. And um, it's hard for me to wrap around that I'm really actually almost average size now. I, I'm wearing 14 pants and I'm wearing large shirts and I would have killed, killed a year ago to be in 14s and large. And now I don't even feel good in that. I, 
there's such a psychosis thing happening right now that I just, I, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect to feel this way. So, um, that's where I'm at, guys. You know, it definitely hasn't been the easiest journey. It's been trying over the last, over the summer with everything that we did. I definitely recommend if you get the lap band, don't make any major life changes a year after the band. Work just on the band. Don't do any major moves. Don't do new jobs. Don't have a baby. None of it. Wait one year before you do anything. Because once you start focusing on something else, it's easy to forget about yourself again. I mean, that's what we were champions at doing before. We always forgot about ourselves. So, um, no, no major life changes. I've really gotten off track this summer because of it. And I've just recently started to get back on track. And now I have to because I'm getting stuck. Go figure. So, here I am, seven months out, 32 weeks, down 48 pounds. Um, Got to set a goal. My goal is to have lost by, let me look at my calendar so I don't set a weird goal here. Um, we have one, two, three weeks coming up to Halloween. I would like to lose a pound a week, so I want to be over, I want to have lost 51 pounds by Halloween. That's one pound a week for the next three weeks. And um, I used to set bigger goals, but tired of disappointing myself. So one pound a week sounds great to me. See you guys later. Bye.